guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom to three kids, and today's video is going to be a look inside, flip through of Apologia's Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 1. Today I want to give you a look inside. I think that there are very few videos that actually show you what this program is all about and so that is why I really wanted to make this video to kind of let you see what it's about, how it works, what kind of components it's made up of, and yeah, so let's get into it. So first I'm going to tell you a little bit about the curriculum. So this curriculum is Christian based. It definitely has a high focus on relating math to God's creation in this world. And I think that that's a really cool component of this curriculum. Each of Apologia's math lessons is a four step progression. And so first what they will introduce is kind of a project or an activity. Then they will give kind of a pictorial representation of the concept. So they'll have like little examples and pictures to show them exactly what it's about. Then they'll go into a more abstract explanation of it and then there is application. So that's a four step process and every lesson is based around that. What's pretty cool about each level is that Apologia created them to kind of coincide with the level of science. So they both kind of have that science theme. So for level one, it's astronomy. So if you're gonna get astronomy from Apologia, it would coincide with math one. And the theme throughout the book is astronomy. There are little space pictures and some space facts in there too. Um, they don't have to be used together, but it's a pretty cool feature. What I love about the curriculum looking at it firsthand is that almost Almost every single lesson begins with some kind of activity or game and they're very simple activities and games not anything too extravagant or complicated in the teacher's guide there are some cutouts in the back for these certain activities game boards cards game pieces, little things that you can cut out and use for the game. You can also print these from Apologia's website if you don't wanna tear your book apart. And then it goes into the lesson. And the lesson breakdown seems very um, simple and easy to teach. It's, it's pretty scripted. Um, when you get into the older levels, it is talking directly to the child, which is really cool. Um, in level one, obviously you're going to be reading that for them, but it's a very engaging lesson. It's not super long or intense and very straightforward. After the lesson, they will go into an application. So where they show the skills that they're learning. And it's very, again, very simple. I love the way that the pages are very clean cuts there's not like a ton of like busy problems on a page or a bunch of like like everything squished together that's one of my biggest pet peeves with math math curriculums is when everything is squished together and it just overwhelms you to look at the page I don't want to feel overwhelmed when I look at a math page and neither do my kids it begins with a review of kindergarten math skills and they're going to be learning addition and subtraction through 20 and then they're going to learn about the addition subtraction relationship place value, number comparison, math symbols for equal, greater, and less than, adding two digit numbers with regrouping using base 10 blocks, measurement and time, data and graphs, 3D and 2D shape, and they're also introduced to fourths and halves. And it is a mastery based curriculum with spiral review in there too, which I really am drawn to that kind of math program because it is progressive in the way that you're mastering skills for a while, but also kind of bringing in a little bit of review so you're not forgetting what you learned in previous lessons, which I think is very important. I'm not crazy about super spiral curriculums that jump around all over the place. I like a cohesive, you know, mastery approach, but with a little spiral. So it's like a perfect balance, I feel like. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually show you inside of the books. So for this curriculum, you're going to need the teacher's guide, which has um, some tips and activity instructions and the answers to each page. And then all of the little cutouts are in there as well. And then the student book, which is a spiral bound book. And in there, they're going to have, you know, worksheets and the lessons and the activities are all in there as well. So I'm gonna show you the teaching guide and answer key first. So when you open it up, you have a table of contents and a week by week daily schedule, which is really helpful while you're organizing everything. 
And then you have the unit introduction and this tells you all the supplies you need for each chapter, which is really helpful. And also an overview of the skills. In the teacher's guide, it does show you kind of pictures of the activities you'll be accomplishing, as well as some extra notes on those activities. They also have every student page broken down on here so you can see exactly what your student's doing and the answers are all in there as well. In the very back of the book, there are a bunch of cutouts and little sheets that you need to use for some of the activities and games for each lesson. And you can either cut these out from the back of the book or they are available on Apologia's website to print off. There is also a master supply list in the back of the book. Now for the student book, you still have that table of contents that shows each unit and the topics covered. And then there is kind of a key in here with different pictures that represent different parts of the curriculum. And then there's a little story about how creation is mathematical and it's pretty fun and interesting. So as you can see here, there's an activity at the beginning of the lesson followed by the lesson itself and then a little bit of application and that is how it goes throughout the entire book. And then this is what one of the unit projects looks like at the end. So this, they're making a number book and then it moves into the next unit. enjoyed seeing a look inside Apologia's Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 1. I hope that it was helpful if you're curious about this program. I will definitely be doing another flip through for Level 5 that we're going to be using with my older daughter, so stay tuned for that. I will link Apologia's website down below where you can check out the curriculum, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.